The first one is how do I know if I'm gay, bi or straight? The first thing I would say there is don't be ashamed of the fact that you have sexual impulses and desires because these are normal, right? Now, how you label it is always a concern. Now, the very question that is asked to say, how do I know? And the very fact that says, how do I know whether I'm gay, lesbian or bisexual? Is that what it yeah, says? Yeah, gay, bisexual. It didn't involve, am I other sex interested? Mm. See, that alone tells me that we are buying into that culture that says, I have to have a label. Now, young people, you know, you can be two boys who are really good friends, really intimate friends. We're talking David and Jonathan, mm. where he said, you have been more loving to me and closer to me than that of a love of a woman. But that doesn't mean you're gay. Similarly, two girls, you can be really good friends and you don't have to be lesbian. And, you know, you have, I have had year grade six girl come up to me and say, I love boys and I love boys, I uh, girls, I guess I'm bisexual. I'm like, you know what, you're an ordinary young person who is good friends with both sexes. So my re response to that first is don't label intimate friendships. Yeah. Now, as you get older, you may feel more attracted to the same sex or to the other sex or to both. Now, at that time, the important thing to remember is it is an attraction. It is a feeling. And for some people, this feeling can be innate. In other words, you can have a predisposition. We've got decades of research that show that. However, we also know very clearly from research and from the Word of God that self-control, always a choice as to how you live out mm -hmm. your desire. So maybe you will grow up to be same-sex attracted. Right now, just be good friends. When you are older, if you have those same-sex desires, talk to someone, you know, just to like someone you really trust to work through those and maybe you do. If you do, know that you have a choice as to behavior always yeah and does that mean then that follow-up question on that is often does that mean then that i will have to be celibate and never have sex maybe hmm. i mean some people change okay you can go from lesbian gay bi to heterosexual it does happen but often not so does it mean you're single celibate chaste for the rest of your life maybe hmm. But so are a lot of single people. Yeah. My son is a 47-year-old Presbyterian minister, and they can get married, but he's not married. He's single. And he likes to say, I'm a sexually satisfied virgin because I don't have to have sex to be sexually satisfied yeah. as a human being. Yeah, well...